This is the deepest hole mankind has ever dug. It's a straight drop into the bowels of the Earth. For 20 years, Russian scientists and engineers drilled deeper and deeper, hoping to uncover whatever mysteries the hole may hold, earning it the ominous nickname of the Well to Hell. What would happen if, for whatever reason, you fell into this hole? What would happen to your body? How deep would you fall? And what would you find at the bottom? This is What If, and here's what would happen if you fell into the deepest hole on Earth. So, you managed to take the plunge. You'll start plummeting at about 10 meters per second, and every second after that, it gets faster. If we take terminal velocity out of the mix and assume you weigh 80 kilograms, you'd eventually reach a speed of 490 meters per second. So, as you fall deeper and deeper, what would happen to your body? Falling at such high speed, you'll start to notice things getting a little toasty as your heart rate starts to elevate and panic sets in. You might find it getting a little harder to breathe. Why? Well, at 150 meters down, your poor lungs would be getting crushed by the constantly increasing air pressure. You might also encounter what cave explorers like to call foul air, deadly underground pockets of carbon dioxide. Great, things can't get much worse, can they? Yeah, they can. Less than three kilometers into the trip, you're going to see your skin start to burn up, literally. And as you continue to fall, it only gets hotter and hotter. This is because you're being pulled closer to the gravitational center of Earth and its molten core, which is baking the planet from the inside out. A temperature of 80 degrees can severely burn a person's skin in less than a second. At this point in the hole, you're feeling heat of over 180 degrees. On the bright side, you've probably already passed out. When you fall out of a plane, you can pass out from lack of air, but wake up as oxygen becomes more available and catch a glimpse of the ground as you smack into it. Down here, you're not waking up. Okay, so things don't look good, but let's say you came prepared and wore an atmospheric diving suit to help with the increasing pressure as you fell. It's heavy, but it will help with that breathing problem. In 2016, Luke Aikens jumped from over 7,600 meters without a parachute and survived without a scratch. Granted, he'd landed in a net. So if he's allowed to have one, you can too. Okay, so you land in the net, great. Including your terminal velocity, you have successfully managed to free fall 12 kilometers straight down at a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. How long were you falling? Well, factoring in air resistance and terminal velocity, the whole trip took just over three minutes. And now, you've got to get back out. This is not going to be easy, but it may not be impossible. In 2018, Alex Honnold managed to scale Yosemite National Park's 914-meter-tall El Capitan granite wall without ropes in just four hours. Granted, he wasn't wearing a huge suit like you are. This big outfit wouldn't help you climb, and you would need some climbing equipment to help you get a better grip on the walls of the hole. But what's it like down there? To answer that, let's flash back to 1971 in the Kola Peninsula of Northwest Russia, to be exact, when Russia began work on the Kola Super Deep Borehole. Measuring in at just over 12 kilometers deep, the Kola Super Deep Borehole is the deepest hole humankind has managed to dig on Earth. Team Kola had managed to break the world record for drilling depth trying to get a leg up on the US during the Cold War. Eventually, though, they encountered temperatures of 180 degrees, which melted their equipment, so the hole was capped in 1992. When you're at the bottom, you'd find things are warm, to say the least. Not to mention, your body would be dealing with air pressure equal to 54 elephants perched on top of your head, weighing in at a whopping 378 tons. Talk about a headache. At least you could admire some of the 
2.7 billion year old rocks down there. But really, could something like this, falling down this hole, ever happen? Who knows? To be honest, we're still trying to figure out the equipment requirements for digging this deep, let alone finding someone crazy enough to take the plunge. Luckily, the Kola Super Deep Borehole only has a diameter of 23 centimeters, so it's too narrow for you to trip into. And even with its record-breaking depth, the Kola Super Deep Borehole is only a fraction of the thickness of the Earth's crust. But it does make you think about what humans are capable of. Could we maybe dig tunnels between continents? Well, that's a story for another What If.